Hey everyone in Vinyl Community. Um, I'm going to show you, this is the last video of my uh, one, US-127 yard sale haul. Um, all these are 45 singles, approximately 210 of them, in four different boxes because I mix them up with different uh, types of music on here. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I mean, stuff that I had, but if they're upgrades or some, I was on my want list and I found them. So I'm going to go through all these boxes and I'm going to uh, show you which ones are which. The first one over here, right here, would be the heavy metal, hard rock, uh, classic rock, progressive rock, and garage rock, or garage bands are on this one. And there's the... And there's tons of good ones. There's Asia's in here, a Foreigner, um, a White Lion, Firehouse, Van Halen, and there's some um, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, ZZ Tops in here, uh, Pat Benatar, and um, Blondie's in here. It is really, I mean, I haven't played in these records yet, but I'm planning to play them, maybe play them today or so. Maybe Sunday too, I don't know. This pile right here is uh, the New Wave Odies. There is one country in there. It's Patsy Klein. Patsy Klein. Um, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot. Of, there's about four or five, four seasons in here. Um, there is a, a lot of. There's a couple of Chicago in here. Adam and the Ants and the Clash is in here. The Clash I actually had bought last month, but it was warped. I found the same record in here for a quarter. And it looked a lot better condition than the one I bought last month. Over here in this pile is um, soul music, um, R&B, uh, funk soul. A lot of good stuff from the 60s, I think, to the maybe the 70s or 80s. I don't know. And uh, let's look at this one right here. Sheik the Freak. I, I like this song. And, um, yeah, there is some 80s in here. Um, that, that, and there weren't many of them, but I just, uh, went through, um, some records and I found this and I decided to get it. This pile over here is the big artists that I think they're worth some money. Uh, there's the Beach Boys, Beatles, Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, Rolling Stones, and Ringo Stars all in this pile. I'll give you the story about the Beatles and Elvis. Um, when I went on the first day of the um, the US-127, there was a big barn that was selling a lot of music stuff in there. And um, I was looking all day. I couldn't find any 45s. So what I did was um, they, were, they had a big box load of them. And I went through them. There was tons of Elvis. They had a lot of Beatles. They had a lot of... Old stuff, garage rock, garage band stuff, um, some stuff. I think it's worth some money. So I got about, I think, 62 records and about three eight-track tapes. So I went up the counter because there was no price on them. So, and I was panicking a little bit, thought it was going to be about 60, 70 bucks because there might be a dollar per app for 45. So I went up there to the guy who was running and I said, well, how much would this all be? But he didn't know there was there was Elvis and the Beach Boys and the Beatles and Rolling Stones was in there. And um, he looked through it and he said, 10 bucks. So I gave him a $10 and I was a sign of relief because I thought these 45s are going to be a dollar piece. That would have been probably over 60 bucks, including the 8-tracks. He gave me a deal with $10. And then I had a monster haul and the last stop the next day I bought 93 45s with sleeves on them. I, uh, my bill was supposed to be over twenty, but he gave me a deal for ten dollars, and and I just and I found a box of eight tracks for five bucks, all the good ones. But you know, when you ever go to garage sales or any events, try, always try to press the the guys running because he may give you a deal just for being nice to him. That's what happened on a couple of deals, but. The most expensive 45 I bought in here was $2. That was the Rolling Stones Miss You. Um, it had sleeve with it. 
lot, some of these did not have sleeves, so I ordered some sleeves, and I ordered some uh, outer sleeves to protect the sleeves, and I put all of them on here. Um, the slit, the, it looks more better with them. Like a lot of 45 collectors, they would put sleeves in them. They'll put uh, outer sleeves just to protect them. I do that because this is something I love doing. And I got, um, I mean, 210 to 45s to play with. But, um, you know, the record show in Fort Wayne, Indiana is coming up on September 27th. So it'll be five weeks from Sunday. And I went last year and then I had a monster field day. But this year I got a lot more money to spend. And I might be looking at 45s, possibly maybe another stereo equipment or something. I don't know. But the um, good news is six days after the event, I'll be doing a video about uh, do, going all over Fort Wayne, going to, to record show, uh, stores, uh, Goodwills, antique malls, and uh, there's a bookstore that sells records. I got my portable uh, turntable with me. I, got, I bought it because I saw Punk Texas brought his along. So, so he would get, uh, so he didn't lose money on 45s or 33s. I'm not in very much of 33s. I do have some 33s, but they're in my, um, 33 sing, uh, records that are in my bedroom. I might just show, um, them in another video at another time. But yeah, back to the portable turntable. I mean, this will be helpful for me because a lot of times I've been buying records and they look pretty good, but then they're warped. So I wanted to take it out less if they let me test them. I know the records show they will. But this will be very helpful for me to test these records out and and see if they're any good and see how they play and what to buy. I told a guy here at the record uh, store here in town, he, he had no problem me bringing it in if I want to test them. But like I said, these are all in... Some are some are not in very good condition, but they need to need me clean up. But there's tons of them here that are really in great condition. Uh, I got two more 45s in the mail. One's on its way, which is Saxon uh, Wheels of Steel promo, and the other one's Brownville Station smoking in the boys' room. I'm the leader of a gang or something. But that 45 has not been um, shipped, and I bought it four days ago, and I'm waiting for that because. I have uh, smoking in the boys' room, but it is it plays it plays noise. It's noisy record, and I can't um, really play it good on my turntables. But I'm just waiting. They're both in mint condition. Uh, I paid an arm and a leg for both of them, but it's worth it. I mean, Saxon on 45 is worth a lot of money to me because Saxon. There's not many 45s out there of Saxon unless you buy them from. Um, England and the shipping I saw in there is is, is an arm and it's too way too much, but um, like I said, I'm gonna continue to do these videos to show you guys what I buy, and I'm gonna resume garage sales probably be the first Friday of September. After that, I'm done. I don't do garage sales in October through March, but April through September is the is those days I do garage sales, and. And I'll sh if I buy stuff there or get a good haul, I'll let you. I'll toast a video. But another thing I see YouTubers doing is begging people to subscribe to their videos. I'm not. I'm not that way. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that's fine. But I'm not going to sit there and beg you like some of these um these uh YouTubers do. I just don't get why would they bug you to just to do a video, just to uh, subscribe to their video. I'm not that way. I mean, I see videos I've watched on here that has, please prescribe to our video. I, I mean, I think that's going, I think that's, I think they're begging you too. But, um, but I see a lot of records on, from Punk Texas to other people on here. But, um, I'll continue doing this and you guys have a great weekend and, um, uh, if you out there buying 45s or 33s, 8 tracks, cassette CDs, or reel to reels, just find you that one you love and put it in your collection. And then uh, jam it all you want. You guys be safe out there this weekend, and I'm going to go fishing uh, tomorrow.
Well, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.